Hey guys, how's it going? Today I have a simple 3x3 one wide piston door for you. It works in 1.11 all the way up to 1.18 and should continue to work into the foreseeable future. Let me show you how to build this. This is everything you need to build it. Even though this piston door is only one wide, I'd still recommend digging an extra block to either side of it, just to help you with building it. If you dig it the same way I do, then you'd want to dig 9 long, by 9 tall, by 3 wide. Start with, take some blocks, place them in this formation, place another one here redstone torch on it facing this direction. Go ahead and put redstone dust on top of all the blocks on either side as well as a block with redstone torch on it on either end. When you're done you should have a formation that looks like this. Now you can go ahead and put blocks on top of those and put in your first normal piston. Pop on top of that piston Place your first sticky pistons to the side of these blocks here. Place your block of choice for the one that's actually going to be inside the door on the faces of them. Now place a block on either side and your last two normal pistons just like that. Now take another sticky piston either side and then your two other blocks of choice. Now go ahead and get on top of your door. Place them in your observers on either end. Make sure that you don't accidentally not be crouched and right click this redstone dust, because then your door will not work properly. Now, on this side of your door, take a sticky piston, go ahead and get out your cauldron, place it on top of that sticky piston. Fill it with water. Careful not to accidentally spill it down there. Make sure you get it in the cauldron and place a block with your comparator on it. Now just crouch and jump. Just like that. Make sure that it, the third prong is not turned on and it is in the off position. Now take your observer, place it on that block, then place a block directly in front of this comparator here, as well as a block of your block of choice for inside your door right here. Now just place two redstone dust on top of those two blocks, and then another block just to separate those two pieces of redstone dust right there. Now on the other side of your piston door, place your sticky piston facing this way, and go ahead and place a block directly on top of it, placing your observers, place a block on this observer, and then build over here with temporary blocks, place a block of choice for inside your door right there, get your repeaters, Place one there, set to one tick. Place one here, set to two ticks. And then place a block there, and you are done with the redstone. Just got to place in your pistons. So go ahead and destroy your temporary blocks. Mine down here. Go ahead and place in one. Place in another. Then your center block. And this piston door is done. You can go ahead and place in your lever and make sure it works. Now place your last couple blocks of choice for inside your door, just like that. And now, whenever you open your door, it's just like this. And all the way around, you have your blocks 
that you wanted for the inside. And when it's closed up, you'll see these blocks on the corners. Now, if we go ahead and place blocks in around your door, Now, all your redstone's covered up. Well, except for your lever there. Now, I imagine most of you guys are not going to be content with just an exposed lever right here for whenever you want to open and close your door. So now I'm going to show you how to make an activation system. This is the activation system I came up with. Button on this side of the door. And pressure plates on this side. It's actually decently simple. It's not the most complicated in the world, and it's not the fastest in the world, but it is very reliable. No matter how many times I spam this button, it's always going to work properly and not break. Now, I did not include this on the materials list. And the reason for that is every situation is going to be different, depending on what circumstances you build your door in. Maybe you don't have a wall on this side and it's open. Maybe both sides are open and you have to place the button way over here. So it just changes the wiring completely. Maybe you want to just be able to walk through both sides. Maybe this is in the middle of your base. I will include the materials list for this. This is everything you'll need to build my activation system. The button has to be stone. Also, one more thing to note right before we start is I did put silk touch on my pick, just so that way I don't have to cook up any cobblestone. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and just clear out your area. That should be enough to start with. Next, you want to place two blocks with a repeater going into your door. Then go ahead and place five blocks directly to the side of this block. And actually, we're going to need to mine a couple more here. And you want to put redstone dust on those three. Now, you want to place two more redstone dust here. And a repeater set to four ticks, right here. Another one set to four ticks, but the other direction. And then a repeater set to one tick, facing into that repeater. Now place a block with a redstone torch on it, going into this repeater. Place another block on the face of this repeater, with a redstone torch on it. And that should open your door. And that's the hard part already done. So now all we need to do is go ahead and just place in where we want our pressure plates to go. And place redstone dust along those blocks. Now we need to decide where we want our button to be. And I think I'm going to do it just like the example on this block right here. So, when you need to mine just a little bit more up here. Also, one thing to remember, make sure you mine an extra block above your redstone dust so that it links up properly, because if I place redstone dust right here, those two are not connected until I break that block. Now they're connected. And let's see, we want that to be right there. So I'm just going to place it in dust like that. And like that. Now, if I put a button here, there we go. I got my pressure plates, and I believe I set it on this block. 
Perfect. Probably want to light up a little bit in here. Because, I mean, you don't want to have mobs spawning. Now we can go ahead and cover over a redstone. And now this piston door, including the activation system, is done. Now, my nice big old chest room over here is protected from mobs just wandering in in a nice looking way. Now here's the part of the video where I tell you how this door actually works. So it all starts with your button press here, travels into your T flip-flop. This torch gets turned off momentarily, which unpowers this repeater. Then that allows this torch to turn on, which turns on this repeater. But before this repeater is able to get powered, since this is only set to one tick, this gets powered. And then that locks this repeater in the state of being off, which leaves this torch on, which leaves this repeater on, which keeps your door open. And if you push the button again, the reverse would happen. And the same applies to the pressure plates over here. It does the exact same thing as the button would. So after the signal passes through the T flip-flop, what it will do is first unpower this redstone torch, as well as the ones on either side, and then this block, which will unpower or retract these three pistons. Then this observer sees that, and on both sides it will send a signal to these pistons, and these two pistons will essentially activate your double piston extender, which will retract the last block, the center block of your piston door. Anyways, that's the store done. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.